Picture the hardest video game you ever played. Maybe something like Dark Souls, Cuphead, or perhaps even Shadowlands RMP comes to mind. Well, you might have to add Dragonflight Ret Paladins to that list because they are getting some new tech that is absolutely scary. So before they catch you off guard, we will give you a preview of what's to come next expansion. But before we start, we're going to be pumping out content for Dragonflight Wrath Classic and of course Shadowlands in the upcoming months, so be sure to subscribe to stay ahead of the meta. And be sure to check out skillcap.com to learn about our exclusive rating gain guarantee. Starting off, let's go over the general changes to Paladins as a whole and how it will affect Rhett. First up, you can now have Fist of Justice in either Repentance or Blinding Light at the same time. This is a huge quality of life improvement that just opens up new win conditions for Rhett Paladins no matter what comp they are playing. If we had to guess, Blinding Light would likely be the main pick in most matchups since it can be used to chain together CC with stuns or as a way to break up enemy kills. Next up, another huge change. Both Rhett and Holy Paladins will finally have some anti-caster tech. This comes in the form of Blessing of Spell Warding, which will be available as an optional talent deep within the general tree. It should be quite obvious why this is a massive quality of life improvement. Your bop is practically useless against the majority of wizard cleaves, and this new spell simply covers that defensive void. Another big defensive change was the reduction to the cooldown of Blessing of Sacrifice with a new passive. This brings your sac CD down to one minute and puts you closer to having having at least one team-wide defensive for every single go. You could swap this passive for one called Recompense, which will convert your sacrifice damage into extra burst on your next judgment. This could easily be insane if there isn't a hard cap on the amount of damage it can store, so keep your eye out on this talent. You should also be on the lookout for Judgment of Light, which is a throwback to older Paladin mechanics. On its surface, this passive only offers a small amount of healing, but perhaps when you combine it with other healing multipliers or even attack speed buffs, it could wind up being better than expected. Next up, let's go over Rhett specific theory crafting, starting with the build that could absolutely break the meta. In Shadowlands, you had to choose between Sanctified Wrath, Crusade, and Final Reckoning, but in Dragonflight, you can get all three. This is absolutely huge. It potentially means you can finally have Crusade, which replaces Wings but grants upwards of 30% damage and haste, which will last even longer with Sanctified Wrath, assuming they interact. And to top it off, you will have Final Reckoning, which is one of your biggest burst spells. Oh yeah, and one more thing, Crusade can have its duration increased even more thanks to the recycled Mad Paragon Legendary, which is returning to the baseline talent tree. Since this build includes Crusade, that means Rhett Paladin damage profiles could be less bursty at first, but could potentially ramp up into massively high damage waves with enough uptime. You might have noticed that Sanctified Wrath now shares a slot with Seraphim, which was a bit part of Paladin Burst early on in Shadowlands. In Dragonflight, you might be able to bypass Seraphim entirely. This is thanks to the current Paladin tier set being recycled as a talent. Ashes to Ashes was a huge factor in Paladins giving up Seraphim for Divine Purpose, and the story might be more or less the same come Dragonflight. And for all of you non-Paladins out there scratching your head at this point, this just means Paladins will have more damage amplifiers. This is all reinforced by the fact that the final verdict legendary has been converted into a ret talent, which is joined by a recycled conduit for even more damage. But it's not just damage you have to look forward to. You're probably familiar with this row of talents from Shadowlands. In many cases, you are hard locked into choosing Unbreakable Spirit since you need its cooldown reduction, but many times you also want Cavalier for more uptime or even Eye for an Eye against double melee. Well, luckily it will be possible to have all three in Dragonflight as they are all in unique places on the talent trees. The combo of Unbreakable Spirit and Eye for an Eye will make you a difficult kill target against melee DPS, while having Cavalier will be useful in nearly every single matchup. This is especially true since you might have longer range on key spells thanks to another new passive called Seal of the Templar, which means you can be zipping around the map on two horses with an 8 yard interrupt like you are some sort of outlaw rogue. There's also some potential for some really niche builds that include Consecration of all things. With Consecrated Blade, your Blade of Justice attacks will leave behind Consecration, which you can stand in to partially remove snare effects thanks to Sanctified Ground. We're not sure if this will be meta, but it could become some useful tech for countering things like thorns. And on the topic of experimentation, there is a slew of talents that interact with Divine Storm, including Tempest of the Lightbringer, which is a returning legion artifact ability. It is a common theme in the Dragonflight talent trees to have one set of talents designated for AoE, and this build is no different. It could potentially become a part of the meta for Rhett Paladins and RBGs, especially since Divine Toll is coming back, but how could we forget about that? Anyway, let's finish things off with a quick recap. Possibly the biggest change for Rhett is the fact that a few key talents that were previously exclusive will now be playable simultaneously. 
On the damage side, Sanctified Wrath, Crusade, and Final Reckoning can all be played at the same time, which could potentially shift Paladins away from front-loaded cooldown damage into a gradually unhealable ramp in DPS. Defensively, Unbreakable Spirit, Cavalier, and Eye for an Eye will all be playable, which simply translates to more overall bulkiness against melee while having even greater mobility. And we cannot forget that Rep Paladins will have even more CC options now that Fist of Justice can be played along with Rep or Blind, and Rets can even have a one minute sacrifice when talented to help deny enemy goes. So yeah, we would say things are looking good with buffs to damage, defense, and utility. But we want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on Rhett Paladins in Dragonflight? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, please consider subscribing. We will be uploading tons of new content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and Shadowlands in the next few months. And be sure to check out skillcap.com, where you can learn how to gain over 400 rating risk-free. As always, though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.